Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I get volume in my hair using a round brush. I do use a flat iron at the very end just for the front, just to flip those out because I do think it does add a little bit of length when you are growing out your hair and it is on the shorter side. So I'm just going to show you how I round brush my hair and tips and tricks that I have. So if you want to see how I round brush my hair, then please just keep watching. All of the hair products I'm going to be using in this video are by GK Hair. The first thing I do is take the leave-in spray and just do a few spritzes of that all over my hair and then I go in with my wet brush just to get rid of any tangles. Then I take the serum and do two to three pumps of that and then rub my hands together and doing sort of a scrunching motion, mainly focusing on my ends, I just put that all over my hair. This is going to help with added shine and moisture back into my hair. And then I'm going to be taking the Thermal Styler, which is a thermal heat protectant cream. I just use a little bit of this and then do that same scrunching motion, mainly focusing this on the ends of my hair and this is a heat protectant. I then go ahead and find my part and finish doing my makeup just so my hair can air dry. And after about 15 to 20 minutes, it is time to blow dry. I'm going to be using my Babeless Pro Porcelain Ceramic Blow Dryer and the hot and high heat setting as well as the cold shot button. Also make sure to have the attachment on the end of your blow dryer. This is going to better help direct the airflow. I get my hair about 90% dry before I even go in with a round brush. You want to make sure to get it mostly dry before round brushing because the round brush is basically just finishing off the style. If you go in with really wet hair, it's not going to help manipulate the style that you are going for. Then it is time to section off your hair. I do about five different sections when styling my hair and then you can go ahead and just clip the rest up and out of the way. The round brush I'm using is a small to medium size as you can see here. When round brushing, you wanna make sure that the airflow is constantly going downward. This is going to create a smoother look and not cause any frizz. So you can see that I am just rolling the round brush and then smoothing out the ends. I am also over directing the round brush into the section and that is what is going to be creating that volume that we are looking for. So you can see the top of my section, I am over directing the round brush a little bit above that area and that is where I am getting the volume from. And after each section is complete, you wanna go in with your cold shot button and run the round brush over each section one more time. This is going to smooth down the cuticle and protect your style so it does not frizz throughout the day. Like I said before, I do use five sections when styling my hair. If you have thicker hair, you may need to do more sections or if your hair is on the thinner side, you can probably get away with less sections. It's just going to depend from person to person. Just make sure that you are not using too large of sections when styling your hair. Taking too large of sections actually just gets that top layer done and not the center layer. That is what can cause frizz throughout the day and make your style not smooth. So that is why I do wanna bring up that point. And once again, you wanna make sure to cold shot your hair after each section. You can also do this as you go, but I just do it layer by layer. And here I am toward the top and I really do like to focus the volume around my part area. As you can see here, I am over directing even more than I did on those other sections just to get a lot of volume at the top of my hair. Another thing I have trouble with is toward the front, I do sort of have a receding hairline, basically just blamed on genetics. So I go ahead and take that section away from my face just to combine those sections. And then you just wanna make sure that you are doing the same thing in the crown area by over directing to create even more volume throughout that top section around your part. And then I'm on my last section, just that opposite side of my part, once again, over directing quite a bit. And I basically do the exact same thing except to my bang area. I don't like bangs on top of my forehead. It just drives me nuts throughout the day. So what I do is just grab the triangle front section, as you can see here. And I do put the round brush behind my bangs and sort of go in a backwards swooping angle. And I just do that just so that my bangs do not fall forward 
forward throughout the day. Then you wanna go ahead and cold shot that section, obviously. And then like I said before, I do like my hair going away from my face, so I just use my flat iron to do that. And then once that is done, this look is complete. I hope you guys found it helpful. Any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and ask those down below. If you have not subscribed and wanna see more videos from me, don't forget to do that. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everybody.